All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Kodash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rakha Kodash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today, I just want to um, do a quick lesson on the scripture here in Hebrews 10 and 25. Okay? And it talks about not forsaking the assembling of, of ourselves. And this was inspired by our camp meeting that we had after... Um, you know, you know, after we camped on Saturday, all right, you know, we had a meeting and, you know, you know, the elders, you know, went into a couple things. And one of the uh, main topics, you know, from, you know, that whole meeting was, uh, you know, the brotherhood pretty much, you know, that was pretty much the uh, main focus. All right. And uh, a couple things came out, you know, you know, how we, uh, you know, got to know one another. All right. You know, how. You can't take everything to heart, you know, basically, you know, not being so easily offended, you know, by brothers. All right. And, um, you know, I made a statement in, uh, in that meeting and I, you know, I, I, I basically said that, you know, brothers, uh, you know, in order for, to know one another, you know, they got to link up more, talk more. Okay. And look. You know, you can't be on that, you know, lone wolf spirit. Now, of course, you know, brothers have different, um, I'll say this, you know, brothers have different spirits, you know, different, you know, work schedules, you know, life situations, no doubt about it. All right. You know, but, you know, you can't, you know, be that guy that just, you know, shows up to camp, so to speak, you know, and that's the only time you see them or hear from them. All right. And the uh, elder brother. All right, in our camp, I die an hour, which uh, you know, whom I talk to, you know, quite often. You know, we uh, were on the phone the other day, and we were talking about a couple fallouts that we had recently, and he made a point saying that those particular fallouts, they um, they weren't very uh, active, you know, in the body, so to speak. You know, they weren't around brothers. Okay, you know, they kind of always did their own thing, and that's not the spirit that you know. You want to have man okay you see and uh let's get straight into it i want to uh like i said get into this hebrews 10 and 25 and i want to get into a couple words all right a couple of these words and um when you get into these uh these definitions it um you know it, it you know it's, it's it's heavy okay it's, it's real heavy so let's read it all right this is hebrews 10 and 25 and it reads here not forsaking the assembling of ourselves to, uh, of ourselves together as a manner of some is but exhorting one another as so much the more as ye see the day approaching all right so let's get into this so it says not forsaking the assembling of ourselves let's deal with that uh that first part okay now it says um not forsaking so let's look up that word forsaking all right it says here abandon desert Leaving straits, leave helpless, totally abandoned, utterly forsaken. All right, to leave behind among, to leave surviving. So, you 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 can't abandon the brotherhood, okay? Or abandoning, uh, abandon, or um, deserting. You know when there's a you know a uh, a gathering. All right. Now there's going to be particular you know. You know uh, uh you know meetings that are mandatory. All right, that you know you got to go to and i'll say this you know there's times where you know you need to link up with brothers just in general you know break a little bit of bread all right you know uh you know if you got a day off and another brother's got a day off and you have an opportunity to you know hang out for you know maybe you know hour or two hey go do it it'll boost your spirits up you'll get a lesson done you know and you, you, you your bond with that brother you know will you know become stronger you see so it's very important to do these things, all right? And then out here in Chicago, which, you know, I, I love that it got brought back up because, you know, it ended up stopping, you know, for some time because of the uh, whole, uh, you know, pandemic situation. 
But I'm glad that uh that we have our classes set up again. All right, and um, through the spirit, you know, it's uh, uh it's it's you know, it's making our you know our our, our um, relationships stronger with one another. You see. All right, but hey, we're not supposed to you know, you know, forsake the assembling. Okay, how it says there. Let me read it again. Abandoning, desert, leaving straits, leave helpless. And I'll say this. Hey, sometimes you meeting up well, with the brother is not um, for you. It might be for that other, you know, uh, that other brother, man. Okay. You don't know what he's going through. What if he needs a, you know, a brother to um, help him up? You know, what if he's falling and he needs, you know, somebody to pick him back up? Okay. You see, it's not just about you. Hey, yeah, you, you, about you meeting up with that brother, or like I say, let's say if you can't meet up, you know, hey, sometimes yeah, you just yeah, make a phone call, talk to a brother for a little bit, do you know, FaceTime. Yeah, that, that 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 could um mean a lot, man. That could put that brother in, in great spirits, man. After he was in a low one, you see. So you don't want to you know leave uh, Akim helpless out there, all right. But let's uh let's keep reading. So it says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves. Let me look up that word assembling. All right, never mind. All right, it says, as the manner of some is, because you got some individuals out there, they don't care about the body. It's all about themselves, you know. And they just want to preach the word and just you know, hey, do their own thing. Now that's a terrible spirit to be in. It says, but exhorting one another. Okay, and what's that word exhorting mean? All right, it goes into um, several definitions. All right, you know, go. One of them is comfort. See, exhorting goes into comforting. Goes into instructing somebody. Cause there's that there's times where hey, brothers got to get rebuked. They got to get rebuked. Okay, they, they they need to be you know instructed properly. Okay, it says admonish. Now let's look up that word admonish. Let's look that up real quick. Reprimand, you see, advise, you see. You gotta do these things. It says to console, to encourage, strengthen by consolation, to comfort, to strengthen, to instruct, teach, you see. So this is very important. Alright, meeting up with you know each other, exhorting one another. Alright, there's a lot that goes, you know, into it. See, it says, um, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. So since we know that we're getting closer to the end, because that's what um, that's another statement that we made at that camp meeting. Elder Malcolm was talking about how, you know, it's getting closer and closer to the end. You know, we're, we're seeing more things, you know, happening in, in this world. Things are moving quickly. All right. And with that being said, you know, we got to tighten up. We got to get better. And he was making that point. How uh, we gotta, you know, it's time uh, to, you know, basically stop these, uh, to stop these m uh, minor league mistakes that you know brothers have been doing. All right, because we're about to enter in into the major league, so to speak. It's about to, you know, hit very soon. Okay, you know, riots are about to, you know, um, about about to hit. It's gonna be anarchy out here soon. Okay, you know, I I, I heard um, El Yashawamba made a good point. When they were camping uh, on Friday, he said, look, man, brothers, be prepared to have um, people following you, okay, after you're done teaching, harassing you and your family, okay? You know, you're going to be, you know, um, uh, you know, you're going to be, you know, uh, labeled as, you know, pu public enemy number one, you know, very soon, you know, in your community, you're going to be on the news soon. Hey, these things are uh, about to hit soon, Akim. Our faith's about to be tried on a whole nother level. All right, so we've got to really, you know, you know, uh, uh, be focused and rooted and grounded. All right, but uh, let's get this scripture here. All right, let's get uh, the book of Malachi 3 and 16. Because this is what it says here in Malachi 3 and 16. Then they that feared the Lord, Yahweh, spake often one to another. You see? If you fear Yahweh Shimei Shai, you're going to be speaking 
with the, uh, another man of the Lord often. And why is that? Because the, the scriptures tell us to separate ourselves. All right. So, Lockie, let me get this. Whoops, spelled that wrong. Scriptures in, uh, what is it? Uh, is it first or second Corinthians? One of the Corinthians says it. We'll, we'll get it. Hold on. Here we go. This is what it says in, uh, the book of uh, Second Corinthians, and I'll, I'll start off from above. The main points in seventeen, though, we'll go through it a little quickly. This is uh, Second Corinthians six and fourteen. But ye, but it says, uh, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath uh, hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness, and what concord hath Yahweh hath the anointed with Baal, or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? Or, and what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power. As the Most High Yahweh hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their power and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. You see, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Okay? We're not supposed to be, you know, congregating. Alright? With these worldly people like that. Now, of course... You have your dealings with the people in the world, all right? You may have to, you know, talk to your family, you know, deal with the co-worker, deal with the business partner, all right? You know, you may, you know, be cool with, you know, somebody, you know, at your local grocery store, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? All right? You know, but you're not supposed to, you know, be buddy-buddy with these people like that. You know? Hey, you basically, hey, you plug into the Matrix, do what you got to do. And you unplug yourself as fast as you can. All right, you got to be like the characters in the Matrix, in and out. No, no, no game playing. Okay. Cause hey, if you do, what's gonna happen? You're gonna get defiled. All right. Let's get that real quick. All right. And it says, um, but let me fi uh, finish this off. It says, wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. All right, but let's get this real fast in the book of um, Sirach 14 and 1. It says here, Sirach 14 and 1 Blessed is the man that hath not slipped. Oh, whoops, what's the lock here? 13 and 1, that's what I wanted. Excuse me. This is uh, Sirach 13 and 1. It says here, He that toucheth pitch shall be defiled therewith. All right. So if you continue to touch that pitch, meaning you, you know, dip, dip and dabble with, you know, this world, you're going to be defiled. That's why I made that statement. Look, plug into the matrix, you know, for lack of words, log in quickly and then log out. Get out of there. Okay? Because you don't want to be defiled. It says, he that hath fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. You see, spirits rub off on each other, so to speak. All right? So... You don't want to be around these people because remember they're all proud. So if you're you're continually you know walking with these you know individuals, all right, that pride's gonna you know, on that spirit. That spirit of pride is gonna hop on you. And we know that you know pride you know uh, goes before destruction. You see. Now let's get back to this. Uh, that um. That Malachi real quick, and we'll get one more precept, and we'll end it off. I don't want to make this too long. This is uh, Malachi 3 and 16. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. And the Lord Yahweh hearkeneth and heard it. You see? And you got to remember. What does it say in the book of, I believe, Matthew? It says that when two or more gathered, are, are gathered in my name, then I'm uh, in the midst therein. You see? So the Lord, hey, well, the Lord's amongst us when we're with each other. So it's very important to be, you know, you know, in contact with your brother. Hey, like I said, call him, FaceTime him, try to link up, go to go to classes as, as much as you can, you know, break a little bread after camp, go eat, you know, maybe a, a quick dinner, you know, do these things. And it says, um, and the Lord, and the Lord uh, hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Okay, so the Lord's going to uh, put you in that book of life, all right? He's going to remember your righteous works and deeds, okay? Now, let me get this last one. 
Does the scripture say uh, that we should, uh, 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 you know, uh, be with the godly man continually? Roughly paraphrasing it. Yep, right here. This is um. Yeah, yep, let's just get to the point. This is Sirach 37 and 12. But be continually with a godly man. See? I'm going to read it again. But be continually with a godly man, whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind. You see? Because look, as the scriptures say here in Amos, real fast, Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together on, except they be agreed? And that's a rhetorical question. The answer is no. Everybody knows that. If you're on a different path than somebody else, you can't, you know, walk hand in hand. All right? You're going to separate. You're going to go, you know, your path and they're going to go their path. Okay? You see? So that's why we got to be continually with the godly man. All right? Whose mind is according to thy mind and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. See, a godly man, he's going to... um. He's going to be there for you because a true friend is going to always, you know, uh, 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 um, you know, be in your corner. All right. You know, he's going to pick you up. He's going to support you. He's going to exhort you. You know, he, he's going to do what he's got to do as a brother. You know, see, these people in the world, they don't have true love. You know, they don't have true love. Hey, this is a you know doggy dog world out here. You see? But um, you know, I'm gonna end off this, you know, lesson. Your brothers, hey, you know, don't forsake, you know, the assembling of yourselves. Be in contact often with brothers. You know, don't be that lone wolf. Alright? You no, know, we need each other. Very, very important. Okay? Especially in the times that we're coming in into. You know. It's going to get real hectic out here. Hey, like the elder Malcolm said in that meeting. We're going to get into a time period where they're going to shut down the streets again. And it's, but it's going to be more, uh, it's going to be intensified. You're not going to have that, you know, ability to, you know, you know, go across town to, you know, go see, you know, that brother. All right, so to speak. You're not going to be able to go to that next city. It's not going to happen. Martial law is going to be declared soon. You know? So don't, don't uh, um... You know, uh, what's the word? Uh, don't take this for granted, okay? But with that, you know, I'm going to end it off. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you brothers. Shalom.